Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to quickly talk about why I only use my iPad to edit photos in Lightroom or use Photoshop and stuff like that. In case you didn't know, when I edit photos, I only use my iPad. That's the only thing I use. I don't use my computer and I just want to talk about why I do that and maybe you've been thinking about switching over to an iPad or maybe you're in between using your computer and an iPad. I'm going to go ahead and tell you in my personal reasonings for using just an iPad. Now this photo is not really going to dive into the technical aspect very much. It's not really going to compare something like a Mac to an iPad and the quality and stuff like that and things you can do. If you want a video like that, something like editing with Lightroom iPad versus PC, let me know in the comments and I will make a video like that. But anyways, I think the number one reason why I like using an iPad over a traditional desktop or Mac is because before I was into photography, I was actually an artist. Back in high school, I did a lot of art and I drew a lot of pictures and using an iPad with the pencil just kind of translates a lot better with my brain and how it works and it just feels a lot better than sitting on a computer using a mouse. Using a mouse makes me feel like I'm working on a computer and this makes me just feel a lot more creative, gets my creativity flowing more, and I just feel like I have a lot more control. I can take my iPad and look at my photo and see what needs balancing or changing. So I think a lot of it comes from me used to being an artist, and I just feel like I have a lot more overall control. And then obviously the portability of it, being port portability, is that right? Is that a word? Just being a lot more mobile with an iPad. Yes, you can take a laptop with you and edit, but this is just a much smaller profile. Like, it's super thin. This is even the smaller edition. I want to upgrade to the bigger one because I thought I was going to want the small one, but I actually want the big one. I would say using an iPad, you are going to be sacrificing some quality with the image if you're using the 11 inch. But if you get the bigger version, especially with the new M1 iPads, the screen is phenomenal. I really want to get one, but you won't have to sacrifice any quality in your image on your iPad when editing it. And like I said before, just having more control with the iPad, I'm able to pinch and drag and move the photo and get a better look at everything. I know you can do it with the mouse too, but I just feel like I have a lot more control. I can look around a lot quicker with the iPad. You can do absolutely everything Lightroom is capable on a computer. You can do it all on your iPad as well. There's nothing you are missing, including the newest update where you can select a subject or the sky with a masking layer. You can do that on your iPad as well. Now you might be asking, Quentin, what about Photoshop? Do you edit in Photoshop on your iPad? And the answer is yes and no. I will use it sometimes, but I will also use my computer sometimes. And the reason why is because you can remove things in Photoshop using your iPad. I made a video on how to do that, and it does a pretty good job, but I will say the computer does a much better job. If you have a really complex subject or thing you want to remove in your photo, I would recommend using the computer because the iPad can do a good job, but using the computer just gets it better. But yeah, if you want to learn how to remove things with your iPad, I'll leave it at the end of this video. It's super quick and easy. And other than that, the one other thing I found is that you can't do with the iPad. Hopefully they make an update soon where you can do this, which is replace the sky. You cannot replace the sky in Photoshop on your iPad as far as I know. If you know any difference, please leave a comment in the comment section and help me out because I've tried to see if I can, but I don't think you can. The only way you can do that is on your computer and I also have a video of that too if you want to learn how to remove the sky or replace the sky in your photo with a different sky. I have a video on that, it's super easy. But that's pretty much it why I use a iPad instead of a computer. One, I feel a lot more creative flow when using it, just being able to hold it almost like a piece of paper with a pencil and just move quickly. I feel like I have a lot more control. It's super portable and I can send my photos over to Photoshop super easily, remove something and then send it back to Lightroom. That's pretty much it. Not a super technical video, but like I said before, if you want a video that's more of 
iPad versus PC, more of the technical aspects, let me know and I will make a video about that. But if you're wondering if you should switch over to an iPad, if you're thinking about buying an iPad to edit your photos, I highly recommend it. It is my favorite way of editing photos. I much more prefer it than a computer. But thank you so much for watching and I'll throw those videos up now and I will see you in the next one.